Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. If you guys don't know me, my name is Renee. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in. Today I'm gonna do a foundation routine like it says in the title. So this is what you're gonna get when you do this foundation routine. So if you're interested and you're a chocolate girl, if you're not a chocolate girl, but you're looking for chocolate girl, what we do, or you're just interested in see what products I use, um, then go ahead and keep watching this video. Um, I try not to make it too long, so hope you all enjoyed and Oh, thank you guys for 2300 subscribers y'all okay thank you we're almost at 2500 which is halfway to the goal for the year and we are almost halfway through the year so let's see if we can get 200 subscribers in the next month I don't know if it's possible but it might be it might be y'all if y'all keep watching go ahead and hit the subscribe button so uh, thank you guys so much for your love and support and I hope you guys enjoy the video usually um, what I use is this Mac uh, what is this called foundation but i am out as you can see so you guys will see what i use in the video so let's get into it bye y'all all right y'all so um like i said in the intro the usual foundation i use is um my mac match master and number nine however i am all out sis okay i i use this i use this stuff i does this so but what i've been using in the meantime because it's just not in the budget right now okay and I'm gonna rebuy some before my trip, okay? But I just have been using this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow 24 hour foundation. And I use the color, uh, what is this? Mocha, I think. Coco. Number 212 Coco. And I've used this one before in the past with the regular matte kind, but you know, it's summer, so I'm trying to glow. I'm trying to glow. So this is what I'll be using. And it's just a squeeze tube, so I'm just gonna rub that all over my face like so okay just a little bit like that squeeze it out and then i've been using um i haven't been using my beauty beauty blender too much lately i've been going back to using brushes so i've been using this vh cosmetics flat top foundation brush so i just kind of oh what is this called pat it in stipples where it looks for stipple it and you know like stippling brushes or whatever and um yeah pat and rub at the same time kind of to blend it out and oh i'm sorry i already primed my face with this baby skin um primer instant pore eraser so that stuff is, you get it from like Ulta, Walmart, Target, wherever in the Maybelline section. And that stuff is pretty good. Um, it does, I think it does do a good job of blowing your pores. I don't say it necessarily show, what is it? Shine control. I won't necessarily say it does good on that. Uh, but you know, that's not what it says it's for. It says it's for instant pore eraser. And that's what it does. So it blurs your pores pretty well. Okay, y'all see my face is glowing, okay? And people think just because you have oily skin, you can't really wear dewy or glowy foundations. That is false, okay? Because I be looking good. And I got oily skin. So, it's just up to you what you want to look like. Um, but yeah. So that's pretty blended. Then I've been using this... Um, I switch off sometimes depending on what type of look I'm going for I'll use this Fenty Beauty um, concealer in the color 430 and I think this is the golden like kind and then uh, this one is the color pop and this is in the color dark number 46 and I'm gonna use this one today because I want to wear fancy I'm going to work this okay so we're just gonna use this one it's only six dollars at your local uh, Ulta's now if you guys didn't know Ulta does sell color pop now so if you don't like waiting for stuff in the mail like I don't I like shopping online but if I want it like now then I want it now okay I don't want to wait so they sell these at your local Ulsa's now which is a blessing okay and I just highlight you know the usual places people do I guess under my eyes bridge of my nose top of my forehead cupid's bow and chin and I've also been using a brush for this recently. This is the BH Cosmetics. I don't know which one this is. It came in a pack, so I'm not 100% sure which one this is called. It could be the concealer brush. I don't know. It don't got the names listed on the brush. So, tap and rub a little bit, you know. 
and y'all i really don't take a long time on these uh foundation highlight contour like so many people do uh no offense if you do that's completely fine but it's just not my thing um if i'm really beating my whole face then maybe i'll take a little bit more time but for my everyday foundation routine like this takes all of maybe seven minutes it might take a little longer today in the video just because i'm kind of talking through it trying to show you guys what i'm doing um i also just rubbed like the excess on my eyelid just to um smooth everything out especially if i'm not wearing eyeshadow that day like today i'm not gonna wear eyeshadow so okay so that is that and that's that on that type of thing, okay um next i'll go ahead and go in with the lighting is not looking as bright as I want it to be just because it's really gloomy outside. My window's open, but it's like a rainy day here in Southern California today, so. <sighs> Y'all, I ran out of edge control. Yeah, I tried to use gel, but it's just curling my edge straight back up. <laughs> so, it's going to have to be okay today, though. Whatever. <clears throat> then I'll go in with my uh, Makeup Revolution um, Luxury baking banana powder and I don't actually bake I just put a little bit on my hand like this that same brush I used to um, blend my highlight with my under eye highlight I use the same brush because I, I haven't really been into the whole beauty blenders recently and I just tap it under my eye and I don't bake it I kind of just tap a small layer and kind of wipe off the excess as I go Get that eyelid so your eyelid not creasing throughout the day since we use the rest of the um what you call it uh concealer on our eyes eyelids so yeah i just pack this in like so nothing fancy sis and then get my and then also you know want to get your nose that you highlight it and I just dust over these, y'all. I honestly do. Alright. And then, um, I'm going with this Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder in the color 360 Mocha. I've been using this for years, sis. Like, even when I'm using my MAC foundation, still this powder. It still does the job and it does what it needs to do, okay? So, I just dust this all over my face. Like a regular powder. I have been low-key looking for a new powder, but, like, not at the same time because I am content with this one. But just to try something new. So, if y'all have any um, good pressed powder foundations, or not foundations, what's it called? Pressed powder for, um, you know, chocolate girls and good recommendations, uh, definitely let me know because I'm open to trying them out. That ain't no problem, sis. That ain't no problem. That ain't no problem. <laughs> so, um, that's what I'm doing. Now... My face is set, so I'm going to go in with this. Um, it's my Ray Ray BH Cosmetics um, palette, and I'm going to use the color down here. I believe this is brownie. Y'all see I've been using it, and I got the the stuff on the name, but I think it's called brownie. And I use this angle brush, again, from BH Cosmetics. Their brushes are affordable and good, so if you're looking for new brushes. So I just dibble and dabble. And then I just go like this on my cheekbone. I kind of have like a natural contour already a little bit, but I'm just enhancing it, sis, okay? So I go like that on my upper cheekbone and then my bottom cheekbone or my chin is contour that chin. And then I do the other side. I don't really, I, I'm, I'm not going to say I don't like cream contours, but I just haven't found one like good for me. So again, if you know a good one, uh, for chocolate girls feel free to let me know I also go ahead and do my forehead like so not a lot on my forehead as I do on my cheekbones and then I go down my nose too and then you know I just want to make sure it's all blended out good like so okay then I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline y'all know I like Maybelline okay if you don't know now, you know. Um, fit me 
foundation, not foundation, what is it called? Blush in the color 50R100. It's just a nice pinky color. Uh, going with this, this is a wet and wild angle brush. And just put a little bit on my cheeks. Again, this is my everyday look when I'm not wearing, uh, I mean, it's still kind of a full face makeup technically, but no eyeshadow. And then, um, I'm going to go in and do my highlight. Okay, this is a e.l.f. blush brush, actually, that I like to use for highlight. This is the Studio Line one. And it's flat on this side, so that's why I like it. Um, so, today, you know, we're just going to use, we're going to still use the same palette. I switch up on highlights all the time. Like, I don't have a set highlight. I don't. Um, so, I think I'm going to mix, like, a French Toast and Radiant together. Um, and just put that there. The lighting is so trash, you can't even see it. But I can see it, so I'm not going to do too much. Okay, you can see it on the side, because I'm close to the light right here. Yes. Okay, that's a glow. Bridge my nose. And I like to do a little extra on the, little, uh, on the tip. Make, my, make myself look like Rudolph, okay? I'm glowing, okay? If you're not going, then I don't know what you're doing. Don't put on highlight if you don't want to glow. Period. So, that's pretty much my routine. Uh, I'm just going to put some mascara on and some lashes. Well, I don't even feel like putting on lashes today, y'all. So, it's just going to be mascara. This is just um, a drugstore mascara, the uh, Maybelline. Y'all know I like Maybelline. <laughs> Great lash. Um, what is it called? Mascara, I really don't feel like putting on lashes today because ain't no point. Okay. And I'm already probably running late to wait. I don't even know what time it is. So, and I got work at 8.30. Okay. And voila, that's the look. Okay, let me put some chapstick on because this is dry, sis. Lips are dry. I really hate this chapstick, y'all. This is the Burton Bees chapstick. This stuff is trash, but it's just sitting here on my desk, so. My car max is in my purse, and I don't feel like good enough to get that. Okay, now that y'all watching put chapstick on for the last 15 minutes. <laughs> This is the final look, y'all. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you like what you see, I'll list all the products down below. Um, this is simple. It's affordable. What you want, you know? So, thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at ReneeCV13. And Snapchat at ReneeCV2013. If you're interested in my weight loss journey, go ahead and follow my fitness page on Instagram at fitwithnay underscore. That will be down below. And I will talk to y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all. Thanks for all your support.